So guys, I'm here at the Old Globe. See, Old Globe. Woo! I just interviewed Luna Velez, actress Lauren Luna Velez, and here's what we chatted about. Okay, so Germaine, 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 Germaine. How was that process, casting-wise, when you found out about this play, and then the production at the Old Globe? How was all that? Jazz? Well, I'll tell you, I was lucky enough to be offered the role. Uh, I had just done something in New York, and the casting director I guess had seen it so they sent me the script and I was waiting to find out about another project but from the moment I I read it I was just blown away by it there's something incredibly magical about it it is very heady and intellectual and and all these themes about science and art um, put together with this incredible comedy mm -hmm. <laughs> and this broad humor it just seemed like one of the funnest things I'd read in a long time but really moved me at the same time and then when I found out that Hal Linden was going to be in the cast, <laughs> I just thought, this is your only shot probably to work with Hal Linden. That was actually, I mean, the obvious things are the play and that Steve Martin wrote it, uh, that Barry Edelstein was going to be directing, and that I always wanted to work at the Old Globe. This has been like one of my theater fantasies, you know? So all of those things were, uh, you know, th th it was a no-brainer. But when Hal, when I found out Hal was doing it, changed me. That was it. Tell me about that corset girl. Tell me the situation. <laughs> tell me what's going on and that you never leave the stage. But I never leave the stage. I'll, I'll tell you, you know, she was not an easy character at first to get a hold of because, um, or to really get underneath because uh, her and Freddie sort of hold down this space mm -hmm. and help create this space for everyone to come and share their ideas. And that's what they, what they thrive on, especially Jermaine. Mm -hmm. She just wants to be in the middle of it. She wants to hear, she wants to learn about art. She was an artist muse, you know, uh, Picasso painted her. She's, th that's what she does. And now she's reaching a point where these young girls are coming in and she's like, okay, so maybe artist muse might not be my thing anymore, but there's something else. I can use my brain. And that's where she's heading now, sort of trying to just really throw herself into that mm -hmm. learning as much as she can about that's the backstory I've created it's quite a backstory um, <laughs> learning as much as she can and being around this atmosphere it's just you know uh, so yeah and also 1904 it's not like she's gonna go out and you know blogging or create her own thing so this is <laughs> yeah. where it's gonna happen for her uh, and she's very hungry for for knowledge and for learning and just in general those that those magical moments that happen at the Le Panagiel. Mm -hmm. So um yeah, I love playing her and she's a she's very grounded and a free spirit at the same time and is loving and mischievous and sometimes a little french naughty but mm -hmm. I mean those are all fun components of her character. And devoted to Freddie, in spite of the fact that she is very sexually free. Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, that's all fine. It has nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. This is where I live. This is my partner. But that should have nothing to do with me being able to express myself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Modern. Yeah. She's a very modern woman. Mm -hmm. I want you to invite your friends. I want you to see something magical and see that a Latina is part of this magic that is going on in this incredible piece, in this incredible theater, in this incredible park, and, and that it's available. Mm -hmm. You know, this isn't somebody else. It's me, and I'm one of you. So mm -hmm. come check it out. Come check out the play. Picasso de la Panagil. <laughs>